What can cosmic violence teach us about life on other worlds? In the last few years, we have gained some incredible insights into exoplanets, with new technology letting us look directly at alien worlds. This tiny movie from the WM Keck Observatory in Hawaii is the result of seven years of observation and is some of the first direct imaging of exoplanets. These observations teach us a lot, but how can we glean more information about these and other worlds? Is there a way to examine the interior of an exoplanet? What is another way we can determine whether it is potentially habitable or even shows distinct biosignatures? Impacts. Objects in space collide frequently. Our own solar system is full of cratered worlds and places that have been wracked by impacts. Our, our own moon may have formed from a collision between the newly formed Earth and a Mars-sized protoplanet named Theia around 4.5 billion years ago. So how does this help astrobiologists today? When something impacts another object in space, debris or ejecta are often the result. The Deep Impact mission in 2005 took advantage of this, hitting the comet Temple 1 with a lander that sent a cloud of debris out into space. The debris was analysed by the mission probe, yielding some really big and informative results. Future missions to observe exoplanets and solar systems, such as the James Webb Space Telescope, will be able to see with amazing clarity and astrobiologists will be on the lookout for collisions and impacts. The Europa Clipper mission, mentioned in our last video, launches in the late 2020s and will explore the moon's watery interior by examining ejecta thrown up into space by meteoric bombardment. It's not enough to see exoplanets though. Examining the surface or atmosphere can only show us so much. So how can examining material thrown into space by impacts give us insights into habitability or even possible biosignatures. Our own planet is one of four rocky or terrestrial planets in the inner solar system. Mercury, Venus and Mars are similar to Earth in terms of composition, that is they are mainly composed of silicate rock. However, Earth has a far greater diversity of mineral abundance than these three worlds. This is important from an astrobiological point of view, for one reason. Most of these minerals are actually biogenic in origin or owe their existence to the presence of life on Earth. If researchers were to spot on the impact taking place and could study the cloud of debris appearing, it would be a tremendous opportunity. Methods of analysis such as spectroscopy could determine the composition of the ejected material. In a nutshell, spectroscopy works like this. Different compounds and materials give off wavelengths of light according to their composition. By analysing the light emitted by a cloud of space-borne debris, researchers will be able to tell with a high degree of precision pretty much what it's made of. Observing impact ejector in this way, it will be possible to determine a lot about a planet. We can tell if it's a water world, for instance, just like Earth, we could tell what its atmosphere is composed of. We could tell if life, at least as we know it, lives or at least lived there. Remember, we could do this by detecting minerals that are biological in origin or have been acted upon by the presence of life. It's a promising avenue to explore and could really open up some new worlds for us. Thanks as always for watching Astro Biological, giving you the universe plain human. If you're enjoying these videos, subscribe straight away. Turn notifications on so you'll never miss out. Share this video and share the gift of curiosity. See you next time.